Hello YouTube. I'm back after one month with a new and cool tutorial. Stay with me to learn a very cool trick for your websites with the help of custom codes and Webflow. The overall layout is so simple, but we need to learn how to animate the odd and even columns of a grid separately. As you can see, when we scroll, the second columns moves up while the first and third columns move down. The overall layout is so simple, but we need to learn how to animate the odd and even columns of a grid separately. As you can see, when we scroll, the second column moves up while the first and third columns move down. But let's have a quick look at each section. The first section has a height of 100. It means it fills the height of browser window no matter how large your device is. It contains a text which is our header and a supportive text. The section 2 is the most important element. It contains a grid with 9 elements. This grid contains 3 columns and each column contains 3 images which have been sit next to each other vertically. I have set the height of the section 2 to 300. This section contains a sticky element which has 100 height. This sticky element appears at the top of the section 2 and moves all the way down when we reach to the bottom of this section. So when you scroll, you fill the section 2 is fixed and you have more time to see how the columns are animated or moving up or down. By the way, I have animated the columns with the help of GSAP library. So, you cannot see the animations inside the editor. As I have mentioned earlier, I have put three columns next to each other horizontally. By doing this, we are creating a fake grid but still works great. There are some workarounds to use just a grid but it makes the tutorial so difficult for you and also, it makes this tutorial a very long one on YouTube. We have three rows here. We want to animate the even rows and also odd rows. The even rows move up and the odd one moves down on scroll. We will animate the rows with the help of GSAP library. Before do that, we need to set the overflow X of the body element to hidden. The reason is we don't want the images cause horizontal scroll as we scale up the images. We need to import two libraries. One of them is the GSAP library and the other one is scroll trigger. We need to use scroll trigger because we animate the rows while we scroll, and also we use Linus smooth scroll. I have already explained that in a previous video and I skipped that. The first line will register the scroll trigger extension. The second line will define a variable which is called row which stores all grid columns. That's the reason we use document query selector all. The third line will start counting all grid columns. We divide them by two. We tell Webflow if the grid column gives zero when it's being divided by two. It's odd. Otherwise, it would be even.
actual we use the i value to find the odd and even columns the reason is the i counting starts from zero so right now we have an array which has stored three elements column zero column one and finally column two we set the initial position of the odd columns minus 10. we use 10 for the even columns we also move them 10 and minus 10 respectively. By doing this, the columns move vertically in the opposite direction of each other. When we want to animate an element with the help of GSAP2, we write down the name of the value. Here we really use the value as it defines which grid column has been selected. We animate its Y position. Another thing is the movement relies on the scroll position. So. We animate the Y position of our grid column if we scroll enough about the start and end values. I must repeat these values will define how much scroll is enough to animate the element. For example here we say if the top side of our trigger which is the section to reaches the middle or the center of the screen, the odd grid columns moves up. I hope you understand now how to distinguish the odd columns from the even columns. Let's animate the overall scale of the grid on scroll. We still use GSAP2 and also scroll trigger. First, let's find the element we want to animate its scale on scroll in the hierarchy of the elements we have. Grid scale wrapper actually is the wrapper which contains the three columns of the images. We are going to set its initial scale to 1.1. And when we scroll enough, its scale reaches 1. Let's check the website again. As you can see the scale of the grid wrapper shrinks down as we scroll. The reason I added those line was to achieve this effect. For this effect, the trigger is still the section 2. So we animate the scale of the grid wrapper based on the position of the section 2 when we scroll. We still have another element to animate. We have a white wrapper which fades out on scroll. The white wrapper is inside the grid wrapper and has absolute position. We animate its opacity from 1 to 0, so we can see the images. Let's get back to our code. As you can see, I have used the Adolfa. It does the same job of the opacity, but the thing is when we set the Adolfa to zero, we actually hide the element. For this animation, our trigger is different and is set to the section one. I hope you have enjoyed this cool template. To grab the codes, you can open the link in the description and join my Patreon. I still have more cool tutorials which I will publish in upcoming days.